Uh, yes, I can hear you. Just give me one second. I'm getting myself into Twitch right now. All right. Uh, Twitch is updating at the moment, so it's... I, yeah, of course. I mean, the one time that I get on as a participant, now it wants to decide to update. Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, da -da 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 Retro Wolf, here we go. That's fine. Hello! Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Retro and Wolf. I'm Retro. I'm Wolf. And tonight we've got uh, a good friend of ours joining us, uh, Cam, from Geek News Now's Cam and Focus, uh, coming in on our Discord chat. Uh, hey, Cam. Hello, hello. There he is. <laughs> oh, we should uh, turn off the some of the, sensibil the uh, sensitivity stuff, <laughs> the lighting sensitivity. Like, it gives you, like, options, right, at the beginning. Like, hey, do you want to turn off all the things that could cause epileptic people to have seizures? Yes, please. <laughs> like how kind of you just gonna say yes please <laughs> uh yeah there we go yeah i'm uh, i'm hearing like your commentary about, about 20 seconds after you say it i'm hearing it on you know the speaker end and i'm hearing it like through the stream as well so that's kind of weird <laughs> we're coming well, to you in stereo stereo <laughs> stereo stereo <laughs> well, I, I mean with i guess with twitch i don't know i don't know that's gonna be an interesting it's pretty it's pretty i was telling her because i fired this up earlier to make sure it started without uh like needing to do a whole bunch of updates and it was weird to see the disney logo go right across it like that <laughs> oh oh we have startup animation Okay. Now, are you uh, are you guys hearing me like in time right now? Because because uh, honestly, with the stream playing in the background, I can't really tell. Yeah, yeah, we hear you. Okay, okay, good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed that they didn't do more with Finn's force sensitivity arc. I feel like that was a big missed opportunity. Yeah, I, de I definitely agree with you there. I mean, like, if, if you go back and watch all the uh, all the promo material and stuff for The Force Awakens, it was like, it, it was almost like crystal clear that they were setting him up for the Jedi arc. I agree. And, and it's. It would have been fine if they did. You know? Yeah. Oh, I also got all the DLCs for this. So. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. It's going to tell me here for a second. I think all of the character. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all the character packs. That's all the DLCs were. It wasn't extra levels. It was just additional. All the character packs. Oh. Okay. Now, is it uh, is it true that they took off customization for this game? What was that? Oh, sorry. I, um, I was just asking if it's true that they took off customization for this game. Yeah, so you can't create an independent character. In return, they gave you um, 300 playable characters. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, I do want to point out that pretty much out of all of the little Lego characters that are right there, the only ones that are in like a full lounge is Leia and Luke. <laughs> Not a oh, care in the world. Me. Yep. <laughs> I just I had to mention that. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> uh. All right. So I guess I guess new game. New game. I mean, we we've never played so. Well, I would assume so, unless you guys had some inside access to. <laughs> would have been you know like the the beta of this game or something. Would have been nice, but no. <laughs> All right, we have. Okay, so I have to complete a new hope before I can do the others. But let's just see what we have. We have 
Empire Strikes Back, Back Return, Return of the Jedi, Force Awakens, Last Jedi, Rise of Skywalker, Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones. Revenge. Oh, so I can go Phantom Menace or I can go A New Hope. So what should I do? Cam, like, you, you choose. Should I go all the way back to episode one, or do I go to episode four and do it in the holy order? Oh, jeez. Okay, so you might get crucified if you don't do it in the uh, original release order. So, yeah, I would start with episode four. <laughs> all right, so we're going to do four, five, and six, and then one, two, and three, and then seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Do you want to start this episode? Yes. Ah. Boba Fett's starship. Slave one, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Star Wars. <laughs> the holiday special. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Featuring B. <laughs> Arthur. Okay. Oh, God. A new hope. <laughs> it is a period of civil war. Rebel spaceships striking from a hidden base have won their first victory against the evil Galactic Empire. During the battle, rebel spies managed to steal secret plans to the Empire's ultimate weapon, the Death Star, an armored space station with enough power to destroy an entire planet. Pursued by the Empire's sinister agents, Princess Leia races home aboard her starship, custodian of the stolen plans that can save her people and restore freedom to the galaxy. Dot, 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 dot. 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 <laughs> the, gal the galaxy. <laughs> yep. You know, I feel like, you know, whenever you read it out loud, instead of just saying dot, 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 you should be like, dot, 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 yeah, dot, but, dot. But, but there were four. There were four dots. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Yeah, that works. <laughs> dun, 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 <laughs> Okay, I do also want to, like, mention, because I know it doesn't really show on camera, but we both are wearing Star Wars shirts. I guess I have to actually, like, get up and move. Hey, Mega Vader! <laughs> okay, I'm here. You can start. There'll be no escape for the princess this time. There'll be no escape for the princess. The and prepare the escape pods. Okay, I like how they're just nonchalantly walking and getting a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so I know you haven't played the Lego games before. This is like the mo of the Lego games. Is how can we take this and just make it hilarious? Yeah, I, pl I played the Lego games like back when they were on the PlayStation 2. Right? Uh, I played the I played the original Lego Star Wars and I played uh, Lego Star Wars 2. And I think I played a demo of the uh, uh, Lego Star Wars Clone Wars game. Alright, so Wolf is on the right. So, alright. Oh, they turn this into a shooter. So left trigger aims, right trigger fires. What? Okay, press down the ring. Run, R2-D2. Hello, this is your captain speaking. What's the map? If you were wondering what those sounds were, we are experiencing some invasion-related turbulence. <coughs> Please stay calm. Hey, look. One of my go, go, go! This is different. So shoot things, and collect studs. <laughs> Boom. Always oh, blue, blue or white. What? Is it ours? I mean, sometimes. But I haven't played Lego Star Wars in so long. Watching this right now, I'm getting all nostalgic. It's a little weird that they turn it into a shooter, but that's not, I'm not, it's not mad. I'm not mad. It's just not what I was expecting. So happy stormtroopers cannot shoot to save anybody. Oh, and they can build, they can build in the environment now. What? Couldn't you build in the environment before? Well, the, you could, the enemy didn't. But the enemy oh. was just building a barricade. So now they were just they were just building the barricade. Vader. This since you're playing Leia, this is when you need to go, hello father. Hello, father. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we begin? 
Because this is exactly what happened to me. Oh, absolutely. You know, fra frame by frame. That's exactly frame by what happened frame. in the movie. <clears throat> what are your thoughts on Hayden Christensen coming back as Vader? Uh, I'm, a, I'm all for it. I mean, you know, on the one hand, you know, Hayden got a lot of flack for his performances in the prequels, you know, for obvious reasons. He was pretty flat and monotone. But I think, you know, this is going to be his comeback story. And I've, I've seen him act in other things. He's not terrible. It's kind of like Robert Pattinson. You know, he was young and not given a great, some great dialogue to work with there. And I think enough time has passed now that I think it's time that just, just like Robert Pattinson with Batman, I think it's time that we give Hayden Christensen a real shot to, uh, you know, really. I was going to shoot it. <laughs> Well, you know. what's really going to sell it for me is if we have the opportunity to see Hayden, like, like doing his own lightsaber duels. I mean, obviously, you know, with, uh, you know, the original trilogy and stuff, you know, that you had uh, uh, David Prowse in the suit with James Earl Jones doing the voice. Well, I'm, I'm hoping that this time around, you know, it's really going to be Hayden Christensen in the suit doing his own duels because it's really going to give it that good layer of authenticity. It is, and... I mean, they had, you know, original Star Wars was on a budget, and I don't think they were able to, number one, lightsaber battles were not, back then, what we know them as now, you know, they were, they were polite duels, is kind of how it came off, and not so much like actual, like, <clears throat> fight for your life combat kind of thing yeah it definitely focused more on the drama than the actual combat so you didn't you didn't need to have an overly athletic actor doing you know crazy you know movements and stunts the way that we see you know in the prequels yeah i'm i'm exactly. hoping because you know with the um, with the trailers for kenobi we see like the grand inquisitor we see what I believe is uh, Fifth Brother in there, uh, one of the Inquisitors from Rebels as well. And, you know, with Kenobi and Vader being in there too, I'm hoping that they take the opportunity to really buckle down on the, on the lightsaber combat and make it less about the showmanship and more about, you know, the drama. Because, because that's what sold it in the, in the original trilogy before. I feel like this is odd. I could destroy the water cooler, but I can't destroy, like, I'm assuming that's the coffee maker. So usually when you see like a character uh, image above something like that, you need to be that character to interact with it. <clears throat> Historically in the Lego games. Well, like you said earlier, I have not played a Lego game. Right. So I know not of what you speak. And collecting as many studs as possible is important. Because it's how you buy things. Who got me? Ow. Possibly me. Why? On X. Friendly fire! Like, you just killed me. It's alright. And then you're taking all my stuff. It's collective. You're taking my stuff. <laughs> He's taking it so that it doesn't disappear. Captain, please don't say that again. I fell down. Yeah, that's the other thing, too, is that it, it'll disappear if you do nothing with it. I, I noticed that. But I fell down. Why would you go and do a thing like that? I didn't know it was going to fall down. I am glad that they still left the destructible environment element around uh, for it. Which to me was hilarious because, you know, it's the ship that's already under attack and you're trying to flee and escape on. And you're just destroying it further. <laughs> Oh boy, I can't wait to see you guys get to episode one so I can see who gets to play Jar Jar. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't even know where you are. Hi, I fell down a giant hole. Okay. That's all I know. 
And now I'm like grappling a thing and I don't know, like I'm gonna die if I go through there. But it's telling me to go through there. Okay, I turn, okay, this is a teamwork thing. One of us has to hold it to turn off the electronics so you can run across. Run, 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 run. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm I'm watching Leia running, and like, it, it it looks like just like a little ghost bouncing around. It doesn't even look, it doesn't even look like feet feet. <laughs> now that you've said that, that's all I can see. You're getting a code for me, maybe two. Code. Code code. Code code. Is this like? Hospital code, or is this code programmer blue, code, code brand? Is, is, is this programmer code? Because those are two very different types of coding. I'm scared to go near that thing. Yep, I was right. I was right to avoid it. I broke a thing. Uh, the hub should be a place where you need to cut through previews. You have two of the- Ooh! Alright. Well, when we finish this level, we will go to the hub and figure that out. Backup required! The other thing, too, and the completionist in you will love this. Uh, in order to do everything in a level, you have to go back and beat it, beat a game, and f beat it in free play as well, where you have all the characters that you've unlocked like, available to you. They're like playing catch potato. I tried to take a drink with the cap still on. Yeah, that doesn't work so well. The lady, our path Hush. is blocked. We must find a way to continue. Fire! We didn't stop the fire. The ship was burning. It was like, oh, the fire. I didn't Vader's do it. Because Vader's returning. Supposed to build? How do you build? You hold down B when it prompts you. Whoa. You have to turn to face the pieces you're building. That's interesting. Did I just make a giant thermal detonator? Oh god, I hope so. No. Oh. So, hang on. Over here, it's I'm confused. Some water. I can oh! <laughs> this mouth. And I guess over here, it's a laser turret. Am I seeing that? I put direction. Oh, you have to, it's DDR with controls. <laughs> I apparently did it. I got a check mark. <laughs> bye bye! Uh -oh. Suck everyone to the void of space. <laughs> ah, no, not me, oh. not me, not me! Oh. No! Baseball out! <laughs> Alright, code Arvala7. Unlocks the Razor Crest and Sidious unlocks the Emperor. Cool. Now I did get the um, the DLC, so I do have all of the DLC characters available. Um, there were like five or six packs of DLC stuff that I got, uh, including The Mandalorian season one, classic Ben Kenobi, and a few others. So okay. We'll see those when we um, get there. It's such a different, like, Lego game experience than I'm used to. And I don't... Yeah, definitely. Different. I don't think it's bad. I think it's just different. I think that's really it. Yeah, well, having the third-person shooter kind of mechanic, you know, definitely changes things a bit. But honestly, for me, the, 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 the biggest change that, you know, really drives home how far the Lego games have come since the beginning is that the Lego games actually have full dialogue now, whereas yeah. the early Lego Star Wars games, characters communicated primarily through grunts and chuckles. Yep. 
Which, I, I don't know which I prefer, honestly, because it was pretty funny when they had that. Well, yeah, you know, like back in the original Lego Star Wars, whenever, you know, Vader tells Luke that he's his father, instead of telling him, he just holds up a picture of him and Padme with the baby. <laughs> Family picture, yeah. <laughs> Plus, the levels are now a lot more dynamic. You know, you're you're you didn't have like enemies up high, down low like this, where like the the combat was dynamic. Right. Ah! I died. I take your stuff. You took my stuff. Earlier. It's all collective. I take your stuff. That's how. So I guess you decide which... Woo! I went flying. Woo! Whee! <laughs> Get out my way! I like how he's dual wielding. How dare he? The stormtrooper is dual wielding. And he still has I'm not... no accuracy. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> you have auto, your health bar regenerates too. Does it really? Yeah. There was an option to turn that off, but I was like, yeah, let's just leave it on, because why not? <laughs> this is our first <laughs> playthrough, and, uh... Yeah. Death is most likely going to be slightly inevitable. Yeah, just wait, one of the DLCs is going to let you choose the difficulty, and at the very bottom it's going to say Dark Souls. <laughs> You know, R2 is the real OG here because... He's the only one that got away with cussing. The entire yeah. franchise. Because they had to bleep out everything he said. Ha. 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 <laughs> ha. Ha. Well, alright, so like, R2, you think about it, R2 was there at the beginning. R2 knew little Anakin. R2 knew that Anakin was Vader this whole time and never told anyone. Just kind of kept that to yeah. himself. This whole yeah, time. Yeah, that's a bit of a, a bit of a hole that should have gotten plugged. R2 knew that Luke and Leia were Anakin's kids and siblings. But no! Maybe it has He's the ultimate ride or die droid, dude. Like... I'm C-3PO. And, so, and something that I really don't like to think about, but I do anyway because, you know, it's fun to make fun of Star Wars sometimes, is, so there's a year that passes between Empire Strike and Return of the Jedi. If Luke and Leia did not know that they were siblings at the time and they had already kissed, how many more times did they kiss and how much further did they go? It's scary. Okay, I have to say it is hilarious to see C-3PO's attack. <laughs> Archie just just shocks you, and then and he he has a melee. Look at this. Yeah, I got hit the by break fire. the break dancing droid. Yeah, you didn't have that in the original games. All R two could do back then was just shock people. Right. R two, get over here. There's a thing for you. But I'm pretty sure at the least, at the very least, back then he had his jetpack, if I remember correctly. He did have his jetpack, yeah. So maybe I just haven't unlocked the jetpack, or it's or it's level related. <laughs> Lego Star Wars, the RPG. <laughs> well, so 
from what I understand, if I remember right, this does have like an RPG element where you can like tier stack skills on characters. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. I think. I don't. I was reading some stuff, but a lot of it, uh, honestly, I was trying to avoid like a lot of spoilers because I wanted to go into this like blind and fresh because I'm such a fan of the Lego Star Wars games. Alright, I killed people. So, hang on. Our GT and the Battle Droid are the only two that have had Lego figures made from every year since they started making Star Wars Lego. Wow. I destroy your seat. Alright, so, since we have Lego Vader in the chat, and knowing Lego Vader, knowing that he is, uh, a connoisseur of Star Wars Legos and knowing his collection. Uh, what other wonderful Lego Star Wars facts can you uh, share with us? Share with thy um, young Padawans. <laughs> I can't help it! Oh, I am just... The legs detached! <laughs> I am... Pimp slapping other R2 units. This one, the stormtrooper is only in his boxers. Love it. Uh, he was in <laughs> here in the shower. Okay, well, C3PO is getting a shower now. I can't get to you. <laughs> I don't know where you are. Oh, you're over here. Yeah. I went a whole other way. I wonder if R2D2 can take a shower. Django Fett Slave on has only been made once, but Boba's has been produced seven times. Nice. I gotta say, like, as much as I love Boba Fett, my favorite um, Mandalorian outfit is Django's because it is such a clean look. It really is. And it's, I just love the clean look. And I love the dual pistols that he has. I, th I think those are... Uh, Westar 42s, I think they're called. I believe so, yeah. And I remember I was at Star Wars Celebration 2 okay. when it was in Indianapolis. And, uh... <laughs> and, uh, they had Django's outfit on display there. And oh, I remember that's awesome. And I remember looking at it in person and just... Number one, Tamira Morrison is not a terribly tall individual. Um... At least compared to me. I'm slightly taller than you, so I was a little surprised to see it and be like, he's not as tall as I thought. Or at least the costume didn't seem to be. But, um... Yeah, it was just, it was really cool to see just how sharp the outfit was, how simple, and honestly, simple is the only word that comes to mind. Because, you know, Boba, his, his whole thing, if you, if you break down Boba's outfit, he's covered in, like, um... You know, uh, war trophies. You know, the braids that he has, uh, his cape, like, everything he has on it are, like, trophies from his bounties. Makes up the majority of his, of, you know, kind of the randomness of his outfit. Oh, I didn't know that. And, uh, because I was looking really hard. And yes, Lego Vader, we've yeah, all yeah. agreed it's called Slave no, One. Um, no, so, <laughs> um. I found the junk room. Can I have the beach ball and the turkey? Hang on, I gotta figure this puzzle out. Um... <laughs> there we go. Um... What was I saying? I just lost what I was saying, because I was trying to figure that puzzle uh, out. Boba Fett's armor is covered in trophies? Yeah, so I was looking really heavy into um, getting... Before 3D printing was a thing. Um, it's a washing machine. That's awesome. <laughs> you just eject it into space in a washing machine. Um, I was looking into getting the, the Boba Fett kit, which is a uh, vacuum mold of the original worn in Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Um... Back then, now 3D printing, that's kind of not the way it's done anymore. But that said, I was looking into it, and somebody, I was talking to somebody that is a Boba Fett for the 501st, and he was talking about how basically everything on Boba Fett's outfit are trophies of his bounties. 
taken from his bounties. Mm-hmm. Um, Boarding party. So no. I thought that was that was kind of interesting to learn that, and it was Here, like, oh. Free play. Oh. Now uh, you you've seen all of Book of Boba Fett, right? Yes. Okay, so old armor or new armor? What's your preference? Honestly, new. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I love the old. We didn't. We missed one apparently. Um. Don't get well. There's some stuff you can only get once you go back to free play. Yeah, kind of um, like with that other character we didn't have. Right. So I love the classic, but again, it goes back to I love the clean look, and it's like I I prefer the full Beskar armor on Din, um, Jin, or yeah, Din Djarin. I prefer the full Beskar armor on him uh, over kind of the rough armor that he has when we first see him. I like the clean look. And I thought it was an interesting... I thought the whole Tusken Raider aspect of Boba Fett that they were going with, I thought was different, and I kind of liked it. Um, he was keeping part of that. Yeah, it was it was nice to see him blend the uh, traditional garb of, of the Tuscans with his armor. It kept, it, it kind of gives him a, a unique look. Right. So I kind of dig it. Okay. I like how they pretty much made R2 jump like a rabbit. Kind of looks like a rabbit when he jumps. Urgent message. <clears throat> now, I, I wonder if uh, C3PO is still being played by Anthony Daniels in this game. I don't know. Aww. Aww. Luthini! Chris Pratt has had four of the characters he has played in many football. That's awesome. <laughs> 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 he had a milk stash. <laughs> Realistically, they have enough audio from the movies that they they probably don't have to pull too much, you know, extra. Oh, so now we're chasing R2. That little droid's gonna cost me a lot. He excels at that stuff. I just hope he's doing that. I have no idea what we're supposed to be doing right now. Chasing R2D2. Is that what we're doing? But I'm destroying your shots. Oh. Yeah. I don't remember this being in the movie. Behind the scenes, deleted scenes, you know. <laughs> that's uh, that's the, the, uh, cut. the special, special edition. It's the Snyder Cut. <laughs> things! Things on the floor! Oh good, there are stairs. I was like, am I just gonna fall if I go this way? Probably. I don't know what's breakable, so I'm just gonna have them punch everything. Probably a good plan. Everything that doesn't look like a wall. There's a droid on the if you if you remember that, then you kind of get the MO of the game. <laughs> Break it all. 
I'm watching, you know, C-3PO doing his, you know, kung fu thing, and I'm like, <laughs> wait a minute. This isn't C-3PO. I'm fluent in over six million forms of kicking your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and I, that, and I can tell you about it in all those languages. And too. I can tell you about it in six million languages. Exactly. You know that the next protocol droid in the Star Wars series is going to be played by Jet Li or something. Yes. I would say Donnie Yen, but we've already had him in a Star Wars movie. Yeah, I li I liked him in Rogue One. I enjoyed his character. I just wish that we got like one more good Donnie Yen butt kicking scene. Right. So it's like we suddenly went kind of open world in the environment here. Because, like, I'm up top. You're just, you're down below, like, breaking stuff. I'm up top, and, like, I can go anywhere. So it's very... They kind of did this with the Lord of the Rings Lego game, too, where it was... Uh, you could run all over Middle Earth. Um, yeah. Oh, there's our... There's See, yeah, 3PO does move a lot faster in this one. Before, in the first well, one, he just kind of waddled. I had to upgrade his... Oh, I'm okay with that. Like when it was like, oh hey, press this button for upgrade, back. and then I'm trying to back out of it, and you're like, you have to hold to get the upgrade. It was for him to walk, walk and run faster. Those Tuscan Raiders have built their camp right in front of an old tomb. And you know what those are tombs, right? Pleasure. There's no way I'm fussing with those Tuscans over here. Huh. Okay, so there's mini quests. This game has side quests? It has side quests! That is insane. Here, I can talk to the droid. I mean, 300 playable Just finished characters. A little... Hold on. Just finished a little reconnaissance mission of a Jawa cave. They have it guarded at all times. But if you can find a way in, it will be worth some Lego sticks. It's at the bottom of one of the canyons. Good luck, recruit. The Lego Force Awakens had some side quests, but it wasn't quite like this. Uh, and the Lego Lord of the Rings did too. Um, they did it kind of first. And I'll be honest, I love the Lego Force Awakens. I have it as well, and the DLCs for it. And they were all really good, because the DLCs, like, rather than being random, they actually expanded on, like, the store, some of the side quest stuff that the book talks about. The, the the book companion to the movie, basically. The novelization. I don't think I can go any further. <laughs> no. <laughs> Running back down. Before I quote-unquote hey. accidentally fall. Speeder bike. Er, speeder. Oh. It's a fast travel. There's a fast travel! <laughs> Unbelievable. There is fast travel. A good womp bat is a sleeping womp rat. <laughs> Cause then I can pet it! I tried to pet a wake womp rat earlier and it stole my crystal. You run off with its friend. I'm worried it will swallow it and hurt its tummy. <laughs> There's another side quest for us! Womp, there it is! <laughs> Lego Marvel Heroes 2? Yeah. I, they're pulling from a lot of... I don't know, I'm, I'm, I've am I'm, i got mixed feelings. Oh, here's another one. Okay. I'm like, there's a thing this way. I don't know if I should go. I'm coming. Well, the quest is taking me this way. The quest navigator, which I am incredibly grateful for a quest navigator, let's be honest. Alright. Yeah, I kind of wish I had a quest navigator in uh, Elden Ring. Because I mean, like, I've put like. Huh? Like, I just found his evil, my evil twin. 
I have heard many good things about Elden Ring, but I haven't played it yet. It's uh, it's definitely a very good game. I uh, I've put like I've put like seventy two hours into it so far, and like it's a, it's great. The world is fantastic to explore, but the but the main thing is I like I said I wish that there were quest navigators because you get these quests from people. And you have no idea where you're supposed to go to get them done. You just kind of do them by chance. Really? There's no compass? No marker? No, I, I yeah. was watching our friend Ronefra play it the other night. And he was, like, he was trying to do some things. And he was like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And I kind of, like, gave my opinion. And he was like, no, I'm not going to try that. But I'm pretty sure my opinion was correct. But he kept running into, like, a whole bunch of mini-bosses before he could find any save points and so he kept dying and having to go back and do everything all over again. <laughs> oh yeah, I have raged very hard at that game. But the but the thing is like all the bosses uh, bosses all the bosses are surmountable. You can, and you can do it. It's just you know, every battle is like a dance. You have to time everything so perfectly otherwise you're just going to get annihilated. Well, I saw somebody, I saw a post, I think it was IGN posted it, they said that um, the very first completion of the game, of Elden Ring, no hit, no damage was has been recorded. Yeah, I believe it. Okay. So I think I, I, think, need, I think I need you over here. I'm finding things. What were you saying, Cam? Oh, I, I was going to say, I think the, the fastest speed run of the game so far has been like 29 minutes and something seconds. Well, it's like, it's possible to like beat Skyrim in like 17 minutes uh, if you take advantage of a glitch. That lets really? You, yeah, so basically in order to access the very last part of the game, you have to be able to get into a tomb to get a certain item, but there's a way to glitch yourself through the door. So if you basically just head straight there... You can glitch yourself through the door and get the item that you need to open the last, the to get access to the last of the game. He's enjoying himself an ice cream cone. I dig it. Okay, so I apparently need another torch. And I don't know where to find it. Torch. Because. I picked one up, and it told me to put it in here, but then I'm supposed to put another one in here, I guess? It's like, who I can get it in? No way, no how, so I'm gonna beat it! Yes, I had to give him a little bit of an accent. That's what Jawas really sound like, like... You gotta this... give him that southern accent. So, yeah, I ain't getting in no way, no how. Nope. See now, see now nope. I'm just picturing a Jawa that that has the voice of Sam Elliott. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't getting in no way, no how. It's like, hey Jawa, I want to buy this droid. <laughs> or John Wayne. I want to buy this droid. Well, you're gonna have to saddle up that bantha there. <laughs> <clears throat> I think you two are having a little too much fun. No such thing. You think this is fun? You should, you should see us in the middle of the night after playing games. <laughs> I'm happy you finished that sentence. I was tempted not to, but then I remembered my family watches this stream, and I don't want to give them the wrong idea. Um, <laughs> there are children who watch this channel. Um, Did you go this way? I, uh, yeah, this is the way we're supposed to go, because I think we're both, yeah. I needed you to be over here with our, I think we both had to be here at R2, because we're supposed to follow him. I'm destroying things. I'm enjoying this destroying things. Why do you want to take away my fun? I didn't say anything about taking away your fun. I'm just saying I need you to progress. <laughs> 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 I've already finished the game and you're still in the first level. It says follow R2. I am trying to. Like, do you need to be like, does it need to be like selected as a quest? Maybe. 
Um, character selection not available. Uh, this is so bizarre. Okay. I still don't understand why. Like, about every time we stream, at some point, some point, I get Indiana Jones stuck in my head. Well, that would be mildly appropriate with this game, considering Lucas was kind of sort of involved. Yeah. Yeah. That that always gets in, stuck in my head. At some point, every stream that we do, <laughs> it gets stuck in my head. <laughs> I do not know why. And for some reason, it makes perfect sense that Sean Connery is is Harrison Ford's dad. Uh, and I don't question it. Honestly, I'm good with it. <laughs> you know? It doesn't make... There's no logic. Alright, so I think we, uh, we broke the game. We already broke it. I think we already broke it. How's that? Because we're supposed to follow R2-D2, but R2 won't move. It's a little difficult to follow a thing when they don't move. <laughs> Although it's entirely possible that we weren't, uh, like, there doing something long enough. R2! Where are you? There you are. There. I slap him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just kill R2 and have him respawn, see if that makes him move. Move. All right, let's just both just stand here for a sec. See what he does. He's trying to. You move. He's trying. It looks like he's trying to go somewhere. I like how he just. What? <laughs> yeah, I just detach, and then I reassemble myself. <laughs> John Wayne was actually in Star Wars. Uh, pardon me? I, I consider myself to be an educated man, but, uh, what? <laughs> we'll have to change the wording on some yeah. of the Streamlabs stuff. It, it's new to us, so. Okay. All right, I'm going to try selecting like a different mission and then going back. Well, this is a game that you got at launch, so <laughs> unfortunately, glitches are kind of expected from time to time. Yeah. Okay, maybe try, maybe we try reloading, like, the level. Okay, let's try this. Let's see. Uh, accessibility, change language, enter code. Uh, right, go ahead and enter code. Enter code. Wait, hang on. Hold up. Lego Vader was kind enough. Oh, and Lego Vader redeemed Wolf Sing mode. I totally, we totally missed it in the chat. <laughs> uh, sorry. All right, so while I do this, you do that. I'm so sorry, Lego Vader. We missed it. You got to, like, let us know. <laughs> Because it doesn't show up. We're looking at our screen, not looking at our phones. And if we're not looking at our phone in the actual yeah. chat, it doesn't show up. But kind of like how Cam did random film facts. All right. And, uh, yeah, like, all right. So if you guys redeem something, you got to, like, let us know because we don't see it on our screen. Um, so sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, random. I'll do random film facts. Uh, Cam, pick up, pick up film. Genre. Um, okay. Well, uh, how about... Do you, uh, do you know any cosmic horror? Cosmic? Like alien? Uh, like, uh, yeah, like, uh, like alien. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen Annihilation. That's a really good one. Uh, let me see what else is there. Uh, uh, okay, so yeah, I'll give you one. Event Horizon. Alien. I'll give you one from Alien. Uh, the classic chest burst scene. Um, they didn't prep anybody for it. 
Oh only, yeah, so all, all the reactions were genuine. All the actions were genuine, including like the spray of blood on the horror you see uh, on their faces. The only person who knew about it was the actor who had the alien coming out of his chest. They everybody knew kind of what was gonna happen, but they didn't rehearse it with everybody else in the room. Gotcha. So that reaction was like fully real, real. Uh, to everyone and then if you've seen the movie Spaceballs uh, there's the reference to it in the diner at the end uh, with the guy it's the same actor and that's where the oh no oh, not no again kidding. line yeah it's the same actor so that's why he uh, goes oh no not again it's, it's <laughs> because of that alright so we're gonna quit to main menu while you're looking up a song do you have, do you have a song collectibles say it requires the current objective may be lost okay that's fine you know what whatever Try to reload, reload this one here. I'm having a difficult time. <laughs> You're having a difficult time. Is could do that one. Um, it, it's re, sing mode was redeemed for you, <laughs> so not not I. I know. So yes, we've now put we've changed the sing mode. So for those of you who are going to redeem it, there's sing mode for wolf, sing mode for retro, and then a sing mode duet. So just so you guys can specify who you want to be singing. Uh, and we did set the uh, the point threshold pretty low um, for it, deliberately. Um. Trying, anyway. Okay, we'll just do this one. Okay. I gotta close Twitch for a moment. And I gotta wait for the ads to go away. <laughs> well, I'm waiting on this to load up what we're gonna do. <laughs> You're like, skip, 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 skip. <laughs> it's the theme to Batman Forever. <laughs> there used to be a green tower alone on the sea. You became the light on the dark side of me Love remained a drug That's the high and not the pill But did you know that when it snows My eyes become a large And the light that you shine can be seen Baby! Baby! <laughs> I compare you to a kiss from a rose on the grave the more I get of you, the stranger it feels, yeah. And now that your rose is in bloom, a light hits the gloom on the grave. Gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, I'll just do like that little part instead of the whole song. <laughs> Play Freebird! I don't know if I can do Freebird. <laughs> <laughs> yep, the only time I sing is when I'm in the privacy of my car. <laughs> I, I also decided to stop because Orion was giving me a very judgmental look. It, it's, it's very difficult when your dog judges you, so... Judgmental husky is judgmental? Yeah, judgmental. Husky. Although sometimes he can be derpy. Usually derpy. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, Alright, so let's just follow R2. Let's just stick to the plan this time. Follow R2! I'm gonna destroy it! <laughs> Alright, guys, unfortunately, I gotta skedaddle. It is dinner time for me. Well, thanks for coming to hang out. Guys, check out, go to Geek News Now on YouTube. Check out Cam and Focus. He does awesome uh, movie reviews. They're hilarious, and he's a good friend of ours. So go go check him out. And, uh, yeah, thanks for hopping on the stream, buddy. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I'm always down to come back anytime. Yeah, absolutely, man. We'll, we'll, we'll set it up. No. All right, sounds All right. good. Y'all have a good night. You too, buddy. Thanks. Be all in one piece. 
Ben Kenobi? Boy, am I glad to see you. Tell me, young Luke, what brings you out this far? This little droid. He tells me he's looking for his former master. Obi-Wan Kenobi? Is he a relative of yours? John Wayne's Obi -Wan. voice was used for the voice of the Imperial informant well, in New Hope. Did time. But I'm curious, did they did they know? Like did he know? Like was it used with his permission? Was he even alive? When did John Wayne die? I die. Yeah, just a smidge. <laughs> but look, my legs have full health. It's just well, my head it. that doesn't. Me. <laughs> Dude, three people is hardcore. <laughs> Well, it was built by Anakin. He died in 77. So... <laughs> he died! He died! Oh my gosh. I... Okay, yeah, C-3PO just parkour up here. Yeah, in the first, like, LEGO Star Wars games, 3PO was useless. Aside from, like, when you had to use him. He didn't move, he couldn't do anything, he didn't, he had no attacks. Inside in your ready. I'll answer what question you And now I get teleported to you. you. Yep. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I was once a Jedi Knight, the same as your father. Which reminds me. How did my father die? <laughs> uh, <laughs> died in 79. Your father's lightsaber. Now let's see if we can't figure out what you are, my little girl. <laughs> <laughs> General Kenobi, I have placed information hey, grab a bucket of popcorn. I like how C3PO is like, oh god! Your only ally. You said you put it on, right? Gotta get home. It's late. I'm in for as it is. Baby. Ooh, the line. Emperor. There's nothing for me here now. I want to learn the ways of the Force and become a Jedi like my father. Glad well, definitely skipped. Like 15 minutes of exposition. <laughs> Character unlock. Uh, press to open hall objector and use studs. So. I'm confused. There's 140 side missions. Wow. That's a lot. 731 puzzles, 38 trials, and 10 challenges. I'm going to assume that's across the entire game and not just this level. <laughs> Yeah, well, it said galaxy, so I'm assume I'm gonna go with you and assume, yeah. Character classes, free play character bar. You can upgrade levels. Speed bike. I thought you'd already found that earlier. Nope. Oh, why am I him now? Oh, sorry. Bye, C three video. <laughs> I'll be Obi Wan if you don't want to be Obi Wan. You can be Luke if you want, or I'll be Luke. I don't care. Yep. 
You use the force. Break it him apart. That. Bye bye looks legs. So bad. <laughs> It was just like the last thing I knew I was C-3PO and then all of a sudden I'm him and I was like, wait, wait when did I become him? Okay, so the bumper apparently will switch you between characters. Okay. Bumper bump. Just to go to Moss House. In the middle of destroying things. But apparently me doing that the last time kind of didn't help. Did you anger? I didn't anger anyone. It sounded like you angered somebody. Ah, it's just this thing. I can mount it. Oh, the Ronto? Yeah. No, I'm doing the side quest that I think is I think this is what it is. Is I'm fix I'm trying to fix the shop. Right then. And then there's just me running around and destroying things. Oh, I'm doing a fair bit of that myself, have no fear. Yeah, but I'm saying like I'm not even doing the quest, side quests, any of that, I'm just going around destroying stuff. Although, there's stuff in here for you to do using the force, I think. Oh. Yeah, because like, if you look at my screen, like there's the stuff that's got his emblem on it, so I think you're supposed to go in here and do something. You're like underground? I'm back in the, in the shop. Uh, should be... Yeah. You go down and go across the... I don't know, I just, they were things that you could do. I, I think one of them has to go on this thing in the center of the room. Over by me. Yep. And then... Oh, my bad. My bad. You, you'll have to put it, put it back on there. I shot it and knocked it off, I'm sorry. There's that one. I'm not sure what these do. We'll figure it out. Where did 
this guy. Apparently it goes in there. Oh. I know the droid's out, I guess. Hey! Just like old Ben used to have. Mission complete, it's workshop. Why do you have a teddy bear in your ship? Hey! Don't mess with Rupert. Shall the teddy bear die? You're like, no, I'll kill him this one. Well, should be the one to do it. He is, he's mine. Well, I do think that does it for now. Sometimes in the other games, like, if you were, like, a kid character or, like, an Ewok or, like, a small character, like, you could go into, like, crawl spaces. But I don't know if that's one of them or not. You took my character. Oh. There you go. I was just trying to see if R2 would go through there. Uh, Alright. Think we're done in here? I think we're done in here. What, can't fly his 216 Skyhopper? That's lame. Big Womp Rats. Four of 1,166. Five. Five of 1,166. You know, there's been a lot of grief about how long this game took to put out, but I'm kind of starting to see why. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a smidge? Just a smidge. Uh, you came up with 1,156 side quests or whatever. Separate stuff thing. 
You know, this came out today, and by now there's probably somebody that's already, like, completed all of it. <laughs> Somebody's probably already done 100% of this. But then, where else are we're also kind of... Well, at least for me, goofing off. I'm just going around and destroying Well, I mean, things. studs are the currency of the game, so... There's something to be said for that, too. Although, let's, uh, let's, for the sake of, of the stream. I've been tracking the pack of Tusk of Raiders for days now. Looks good if you spot the camp. Make... Alright guys, we are coming up, uh, we've been going for a little over an hour, um, but it's actually dinner time for us as well. <laughs> um, so I think we're going to go ahead and end our stream and uh, can probably continue playing this in our spare time as well. But I uh, want to appreciate everybody who's hopped on the stream and hung out. I want to appreciate our good buddy Cam who uh, came over and uh, said hello and uh, hung out and chat with us. and. Thank you, Lego Vader. Thank you for the for the subscription. Uh, and uh, just like Lego Vader, uh, if you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe to one Twitch channel for free every month. So why not subscribe to ours and uh, help us out? It is greatly appreciated. Uh, we have new channel rewards. We uh, we just made affiliates, so we've got a bunch of new stuff, a uh, bunch of new things happening. So um, be sure to follow us. Also. Uh, posted kind of throughout in our stream. We've had our Discord link up. I'm going to throw it up one more time in case anybody wants it here. Uh, you can come hang out with us in Discord and uh, we can all have some fun. So uh, from me and from Wolf, I think we're going to head off for the night. But uh, we'll see you guys later. Hi. And actually, you're going to be going tomorrow with more uh, Crash oh, Bandicoot. There goes Ben. Oh, there goes Ben. All right, so we are uh, going to do a uh, little bit of a... We're, just, we're going to go ahead and uh, close ourselves out. So you guys take care. We'll see you guys later. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.